So without further ado, Northeast High School, get ready. You're coming up. Northeast High School Team Marikai is about to grace us with their present on the stage, so please give them another very big round of applause. We're excited to see you. My name is Sandra Reggie. My name is Kim Barksdale. My name is Milo Duderville. My name is Atul Adu. Alejandro Geraldo. I'm Edlira Kulsi. Navil Perez. And I'm Desiree De Jesus. And we are from Northeast High School. We chose Como Ahamas Challenge to Reduce Food Waste because the greatest problem of cafeteria was facing was food waste. We have seen a lot of fruits and milks being wasted and being on the floor. We have even seen kids playing basketballs with them. So here's a fact. Worldwide, actually in the US, 40% of the food is being wasted. If you just save 20% of them, you could lavishly feed 20 million people. In a world where one third of the food being produced is wasted, that is 1.3 billion pounds, you could lavishly feed 3 billion people. In a world where 805 million people go hungry every day to bed, food waste doesn't make any sense at all. Therefore, we wanted to create a change and came up with the organization known as Meraki. Meraki is a Greek word, which means doing things with passion, purpose, and love. How do we start? We started by speaking with our food service manager, who taught us about universal feeding, which is a program that states for a student to be eligible for free lunch, they have to pick three of the five food groups, even if they don't want it. You can see where that could lead to a lot of food waste. We then had our fellow uh, members go down our, uh, in the cafeteria on Tuesdays and Thursdays and collect food. We found some days we collected 50 to 60 fruits a day. Now think about this. That's 12 gallons of milk per day times 180 school days, and then by 300 schools within Philadelphia, that's 648,000 gallons of milk per school year and 3,240,000 pieces of fruit. We reached out to our Northeast high school community to find innovative ways to build community and have fun. So we teamed up with Elect, teen moms, and taught them how to make smoothies for their children. At the end, we gave them boxes with ingredients and recipes in them so that they can take it home and try it for themselves. Realizing that the special but, um, need students did not get that much attention in, in, our school, in our school community, we used our unwanted milk to make pudding to try and integrate them back into our community. We then worked with the Free Library of Philadelphia Get Hype Philly cooking program to make pancakes with our unwanted milk. At the end of the day, it was so fun, and we learned how to make breakfast with literacy. So, we did not stop there. For that reason, we decided to host a CHOP competition. Yes, our very own CHOP competition, <laughs> just like the one on TV. At our CHOP competition, we took the foods that we collected to create boxes of ingredients for contestants to make any dish of their choice. It was a wonderful experience, as well as an innovative way to repurpose unwanted foods. The best chef did not only receive a cash prize, but she was also moved to tears by her success. We started making more of an impact, and people started to notice it, so it felt bigger. We contacted the Veterans Multi-Service Center, and they told us in a single night, an average of 440 veterans are homeless. This means one out of six homeless people in Philadelphia are veterans. <clears throat> At the end of every week, one of the person in charge of the multi-center come to our school, and they picked up the over 150 cartons of milk and over 160 pieces of fruit that we collect for the week in our cafeteria. In the past four months, <clears throat> we donated uh, over 2,400 pieces of fruit and over 2,500 cartons of milk. Now think about all the veterans, some of them will children that we have fed. And one of the veterans said, thank you from the bottom of my heart I feel so much better since I have been helping these vets. And I am indebted to you and these students. On Memorial Day, 
we wanted our veterans to feel like home again. So we contacted the ShopRite Center and we received over 100 hot dogs, buns, and pastries. Along with ShopRite, we got Dunkin' Donuts to donate pastries with bananas. And with the bananas, we repurposed them. Just for one moment, just for one second, the veterans can feel as though they were home and forget about all the casualties they went through. Suddenly, everyone started to join in and we became invigorated by our possibilities. It became contagious. We created a social media page with facts about food waste and pictures of our events. This helped, that helped us a lot to spread the word about the Meraki team, so people started collecting food and drop it off at our headquarters. We connected with Harvard Law School to talk about food waste initiatives. Their goal is to change food laws in Pennsylvania, so they wanted to work with us and hear about our experience. We presented our ideas to the school board on March 24. We didn't want them only to realize how important reducing food waste was, but also how much money the school district could save. Together with them, we are going to continue the project of reducing food waste in all Philadelphia schools. Education is what makes our mission sustainable. To educate people, we gave them facts to make them conscious about food waste. So we surveyed the students and we found that over 90% of the students learn more about food waste from our effort. We also found that 90% of the students are actively working to reduce food waste. But Meraki didn't stop after the competition. We continued to grow and around 50 members joined our team, partnered with some other clubs, which helped us to consistently collect food to continue helping people in need. We also made smoothies with the milk and the fruit that we collected from our cafeteria, and we sold them at our graduation to raise some money for the team. And we also plan to talk to some community schools to collaborate with us to continue spreading our message. We began to receive tons and tons of support from the community. We went from just eight of us collecting food to now dozens of members collecting food during their lunch on a daily, ba on a daily basis. This really made a huge impact in our food collection. And since Meraki is all about building a stronger community, we decided to show our teachers just how, just how much they inspire us, prepare us for the future, and most importantly, educate us. We depend on them. To show our appreciation, we took donuts that would have been wasted along with other donated food supplies and our very own world famous Meraki smoothies to have a wonderful teacher appreciation lunch. We also encourage students to make two cards of appreciation for any two teachers that inspired them. We were very happy to see the smiles on the faces of our teachers. Meraki isn't just an after school program, it's a movement. A movement that will continue to impact our community. A movement that will continue to educate our youth. A movement that will continue to fulfill the needs of our veterans. So, we have decided to join Philly's challenge to become 90% litter and waste-free and waste by 2035. Meraki is now impacting a city, but soon we will be impacting a nation. So we challenge you to use Meraki to build community and to help others. Be passionate, be purposeful, be Meraki!